Hi everybody, Trish here from Pinky's Farm. It is Vlogmas Day 7, December 7th, 2021. And I am just here to share a few things with you. Um, trying to come up with content. Y'all, I was pretty much done with content on day three. So, you know, it's my, this might get really boring. Um, you might get tired of just hearing me chit chat. But I'm gonna show you what I have going on today and hopefully it's, you know, worth continuing for. I've got my cup of tea, my organic tea. It's for vitality. Yeah, this is like old lady tea. It makes me feel like less of an old lady. Um, so one of the things I'm working on is a sewing project and um, it's for a really good friend and actually another friend and I are doing this together. We found these beautiful collection of holiday boxes and stuff and baking stuff that are all, um, my light is not good, is it? At Joann's the other day, we found this really beautiful collection of baking stuff and boxes, gifting packaging. And um, we thought, let's just get that together and get a nice homemade gift put in there and send it to our best friend that's in North Carolina. So, I just wanna show you because it's so pretty and I just love the way the store had all the coordinating stuff that you could possibly need to go with it. Um, starting with, this is the cookie tin. Do you see the, it's got mushrooms on it and my friend loves mushrooms and woodland stuff. I mean, not mushrooms like taken mushrooms, none like that, She, but she likes these little red cap mushrooms. Just, she always enjoys that kind of stuff. So it's a pretty little tin which we are gonna fill with snowball cookies, and they are gonna be in these little matching baking cups that go with the set. Isn't that sweet? So we're just gonna do layer after layer of snowball cookies until they're full to the top. All of that is gonna also be included in this big box that matches. It's a big says, Happy Holidays. Isn't this tartan really pretty? I want to dress out of that so bad. I think that's going to be on my list of things to find. It's just that beautiful navy tartan plaid. But then we got the whole eating set. Eating set? Blah. Like dining set. It has the beautiful matching napkins. It's got the small plates. It's got the big dinner plates. And it's got the dessert plates. Couldn't find any silverware for it or we would have gotten that too. But we're going to include all of this with um, the cookies. Um, some really beautiful matching ribbon came with it, which I thought would be really nice because of the red. So we can wrap it up in this ribbon. And then my favorite part that came with it is this matching fabric. I mean, seriously, everything you need, all in matching, even the fabric. This was at Joann's. And so they had a couple of different prints that were matching sets like this. So we just had a ball going through there and finding all everything with mushrooms on it. So this is going to be a table runner. It's not done yet. I've actually just gotten started on it. But it has a lot of top stitching. It's going to have some trim. I'm thinking about two different trims that could possibly go on it. She loves velvet, so I do have a velvet trim I can use on it. Or I have this really festive, very holiday looking holly and berry trim. So I'm gonna use one or both of those on here. And um, that will be just a really fun addition to our gift box, I think. So that is what's going on in the world of sewing at my house. Um, let's see, in other news, my grandson, this morning was his last day here. Um, I took him to school this morning, and so he'll be heading home. He has had a family member on the other side of the family has passed away, so he's going to be hopping in the car tomorrow and driving or riding with his family from that side um, from Florida to Michigan. And I'm like, better take the Game Boy or Nintendo DS or the phone or something, some books some artwork, something to ride in. Um, there are gonna be two other little boys in the same car, so I'm not really so worried about 
my grandson getting bored. I'm really worried about the adults that are stuck in the car with three little boys. Uh, they're going to get a run for their money, I'm sure. So, but, um, you know, today with all the techie stuff, the kids will get time to do that. And I'm sure they'll calm down and do that for a little while. So for once, all that techie stuff might be actually a blessing. Um, but it's been great. I have had the best time with him here for a few days. But you know, the two best days with the grandkids are the day they arrive and the day they leave. Yeah, it's the day they leave. Because by the time you've put your heart and your energy and everything and just been mentally on for all that time, you're ready for them to go. Go back to your mommy and daddy. Nina needs to rest. So um, I'm looking forward to actually getting something accomplished today. I'm gonna make a banana bread today because, um, well, two of my friends, plus myself and my mom, are going to a movie tonight. Um, and the movie is, this is the first time I've been to a movie in like two and a half years, since way before COVID and stuff. But the movie is called Christmas with the Chosen. I don't know if you've heard of it, but supposedly it's, the story, you know, the Christmas story as seen through the eyes of Mary and Joseph. And um, so we've been wanting to see it. it. Only It's a special thing only running for 10 days. So we're going tonight to that. And my one friend um, cannot drive at night. So she's going to come to my house in the daylight. And then we'll go to the movie. And then she's going to spend the night. So that's wonderful. But what it also means is... I've got to get my butt in gear, get this house tidied up, get this guest room, get the bed made, get the floors wiped down, dust, you know, do all the things that you do for a guest, set her up a nice little station there with some water and some lip balm and, you know, all those little extra things like you would get in a hotel or something. I just want her to feel really comfortable. Um, so I want to get some fresh sheets on the bed. I might even run to town and get some holiday sheets because because I can. I mean, I just kind of think it would be fun to put holiday sheets on there, and I know she likes flannel, so I may just go get some Florida flannel sheets. Um, I'll probably never use them because I sweat like a stuck pig at night, but um, let's see. What else is on the agenda? Oh, so because of that, I'm going to make some pumpkin bread so that her and I will have that for coffee in the morning, and... I've got to mow the grass. I just, I really need to get out there. I hate rolling over the floor of snow, but um, parts of the yard are out of control and it just looks like nobody lives here anymore. So I'm going to get out there and at least mow the yard, part of the yards that are around the house. And then I can leave the back 40 can stay with Florida snow and the pollinators won't be pissed at me. Um, I know, I'm a potty mouth. I'm sorry. I really am. Um, I need some of those labels that go in your clothes. I know Kylie and the Machine has them that say, made with love and swear words. That is how I roll. I mean, yeah, I'm a grown up. And I do use an occasional unladylike word. So anyways, I've had to control it. For like three days while my grandson was here. I haven't been able to use my unladylike words, so I might be spilling them out because I think they've kind of stored up in me and it's just time to release them. So yeah, I may have to go in the corner and just scream a few swear words to get back on a level plane. Um, let's see, what else is going on today? Um, I may put up the Christmas tree, may not. I had my grandson help us get it down from the attic and they've already decorated the Christmas tree at his house, so he wasn't, you know, all that excited about decorating it at my house. Um, I was hoping he would do the whole thing and I would get out of it because, frankly, I'm still in kind of the ball humbug mode. I mean, I've got a couple decorations up right in the kitchen that were just easy, like I stuck that woodland pig and I have a cutting board that has a Christmassy image on it, but beyond that, I'm just not into it. I mean... I'm into the spirit of the purpose of Christmas and the Christian holiday, but not for decorating. I mean, we have gone all out for so many years decorating for holidays, and this year I just feel like keeping it really simple. 
I probably will go to the grandkids' house to do gifts with them, so they probably won't even be coming to my house and even see the Christmas decorations, so I don't know. It might be a naked tree with whatever lights just happen to be stuck on there still. Uh, stick a bowl on top of it or something, and um, that might be the end of it for Christmas decorations. I will put the stockings up because I have to fill those and give them to everybody. So I think that's going to be about as big as it goes for us for Christmas is um, just a nice fat stuff stocking and some good food and um, something fun for the kids. They're getting very hard to buy for. Um, my grandson will soon be 13, the one that you saw. I know he's really little. Um, he went to the doctor yesterday to find out about getting horm growth hormones. So I don't know if they're gonna do that or not. The doctor says he's going to hit puberty soon. So stand by and be ready because he's gonna shoot off like a rocket this year. That's what he says. I hope so. Um, but anyway, in his mind, he's already 13. So, um, you know, he doesn't want toys. He's over the Pokemon phase, all that stuff. You know, he wants technology. He wants electronics. He wants things that are way more expensive than Nina and Poppy can afford. Um, the other two are small and, you know, honestly, they'd be happy with something from the Dollar Tree. I'll leave you with that for now. I'll come back and see you when, um, so I'll come back and see you when I finish mowing and when I'm working on the banana bread or maybe when I'm taking it out of the oven. I mean, that's the best part, right? Maybe we can have a taste of it together. So, hmm, there's some organic tea leaves in my mouth. So for the time being, I guess I'll say goodbye and maybe try to pick you up after a while. Thanks for watching. Okay, y'all, I'm back. If I look haggard, it's because I've been working my booty off today. I did not get the mowing done. <sighs> It'll still be there tomorrow. Um, but I did get my house cleaned and I did get this little guy up. That's our teeny weeny little artificial tree. Now Andra from Andra Makes, I will link her channel below because she always puts out some kind of a good question that it's fun to answer. And her question this Vlogmas Day was, do you use a real tree or an artificial? So. Now we use this little teeny artificial tree because A, it's pre-lit, B, there's not gonna be anybody here to see half of my decorations. So it's really just for us and for something pretty to enjoy sipping eggnog at night or Italian cream liqueur. And I think I will take you on my Italian cream liqueur journey one day soon because I make it homemade every year and it's so delicious for sipping. And a lot of my friends request it still. Um, so anyway, I got most of what I have to do done. The pumpkin bread is in the oven, not banana bread, okay? Not banana head, banana bread is in the oven. No, it's stinking pumpkin bread. Y'all, I cannot put two thoughts together today. What is wrong? Do not get old. How many times must I tell you? Anyway, um, it's whatever it is, it's in the oven and it's starting to smell really good. And um, I'm gonna have that with my friend with coffee in the morning. And we'll sit out here by the Christmas tree and watch the news and enjoy that. Um, so let's see what else. So I got this room kind of decorated for Christmas for my friend Cindy. I put a cute little Christmassy rug down. I have a candle going and I've got these pretty bed sheets. And they're little bicycles and they've got little packages and let's see somewhere there's like a little critter in them. There's a bird on one. There's a puppy dog. Isn't it cute? And behind it I just have, since there's a lot of blue in the room, I just have these little Christmas tree prints. So I did go to Target and get me some cute sheets but the main thing I got for Cindy that she's gonna love is this pillow. Naughty Cindy. I think she'll like it though. So anyways, I've got the bed all put together and now I'm just waiting for Cindy to get here and for my pumpkin bread to come out of the oven. Okay, the pumpkin bread is done. It looks delicious. Let me just show it to you. Mmm. That's gonna be so good with coffee in the morning. I'm gonna let that cool. I'm gonna say goodbye because 
I don't know if y'all know it, but chickens and goats can tell time. They can. They know, what's up with this hair? They know when it's about half after four. And so they start calling me to be, you know, demand to be fed. So um, I'm heading out there to do that right now. So I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll see you on Vlogmas Day 8. Have a great night, bye.